Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for Friday, December the 15th, 2023. The countdown to Christmas is on. Get your shopping done. <laughs> uh, last week I pointed out a Forex swing trade on a British pound Australian dollar pair that Darko pointed out in advance, of course, to our CC long term trading members. And I'll cover the aftermath of that trade in this video. But there's actually been a lot of swing trades of late. Um, just the way it goes sometimes and I'll just point out a few of them in in the interest of not making this video too long the long-term trading service which is uh, mostly swing trades has seen yet another absolutely outstanding year of performance now, I don't know what else to say about it and, and it's just it's undeniable and it can't be faked because Darko points out all these trades in advance and they're all recorded ahead of time and archived so there's, there's no going back I really hope that you like this video and that for you know for many years that we've been showing these setups that have been so consistently profitable and if that's the case we would love a thumbs up by hitting the like button it really does mean a lot to us um, you know I mean these are obviously free videos and we hope you get lots out of them so if you could you know give back to us a little bit that way that would really be great and very much appreciated okay let's take a look at a few of these great trades that have set up so far in December okay so before I show you these swing trades one thing that Darko has stressed to the members over and over uh, of late is that because of the time of the year uh, and things wrapping up that all trades are now considered hands-on meaning get the risk out as soon as practical uh, sometimes that might be even just before a one-to-one -one reward re risk uh, re risk reward is achieved uh, maybe an opposing levels hit uh, before one-to-one -one and it's close to one-to-one -to -one. That kind of a thing and there can be other reasons as well so with that said let's take a look at how December has been unfolding so far I'm, I'm just showing you a few of these but there I, I tell you um, I, I there's been a lot of them and I believe at this point every one of them has been a winning trade or certainly no worse than break even depending on trade management okay Aussie CAD pair um, this pair uh, if, if you look at the um, this uh, this level down and I'm going to show you on the daily chart actually because it was uh, very very clear and obvious and actually there's a there's a level on the uh, monthly chart in the upper left right here that's just a level of interest and it doesn't mean anything's going to happen there you don't know for sure what's going to happen and um, uh, what on the on the weekly chart let's go back to here for a minute this level here see how price rejected so it's that same level as from the monthly it's just interesting you know and then you want what you want to do is see what happens when price comes back into here okay on the daily chart what it was doing was trending higher and this level of resistance got broken and became support that's when we want to look for a pattern okay and that would be in alignment with what we're seeing on the higher time frames on the four hour chart entry time frame uh, this pattern here is like the most it, it's like if you learn this one pattern it's all you ever have to do it, it's just a beauty the challenge is going to be for you to wait for it to set up and if you have that patience you're going to be really happy that you did the buy was right into here um, it needed about a 70 pip risk something like that it chopped around didn't do anything and then look what and the risk uh, pardon me the stop by the way is underneath here and as it came up into here this shot it straight up now this was the FOMC rate release if price had been if we hadn't been in yet and, and price was up in here before the release came out we would not have taken this trade because price is too close to our entry but after this time there's nothing you can do except leave your stop alone it's going to go up or down it could have gone down we could have got stopped out but they didn't you know these things it's amazing how they set up like this and as it goes up and hits these levels and it's really flying uh, you want to get risk out of the trade more risk out of the trade this level up here is the I'll show you here I think it's the, uh, the actually that weekly level I just showed you uh, yes it is right here this is like just logic I mean like, take take some profit remember I said don't we're, we're, we're hands-on right now because of the time of the year so um, yeah that was about that was well over 100 pips up into here uh, Euro Kiwi was another one Euro Kiwi and you know it's good some members see these trades independent of Darko having to tell them and I just love that we just when when members start seeing that that's what the service is all about showing you how to trade and uh, Darko probably uh, pre sorry Darko pretty much gets all of these trades for all the members all the time ahead of time occasionally it could happen though that a member might see a trade that Darko missed or whatever but and or yeah they ask about the trade and you go yeah you know what that's that's logical 
Anyway, in this particular case, look at the upper left, this monthly level. What a good level that was. Price broke above it, held above it, came back, which is also a weekly level on the upper right. See here and here and on the daily chart. Look at price held right here. It goes and now when it, when this comes down like this, it's time to start looking for a pattern. So why would I go long on this? You know, that's what you got to think to yourself. What's there? We only have three patterns, so it's not too hard. And this structure damage happened right in here. Again, that's that same uh, swing break rotation pattern. That's just such like it's so reliable. It's, it's just a really, really good trade. And the entry on this one was down here. It needed about a 90 pip risk. It actually went up for over two to one eventually. Just just really impressive. And, you know, when you get into these levels, yeah, you want to get the risk out. Yeah, you want to get the risk out more or, or take profit on the way up. So I'm not saying you're going to get a two to one because it's going to depend on your trade management. We have protocols or suggestions, especially for our um, for our members. And then, you know, as you mature more as a trader, you can work on the way that you want to do it. This is this pound Austra uh, British pound Australian dollar pair. This was last week's trade video that I put out on YouTube. Check it out. Actually, at the end of this video, there's a uh, you can click on it. There's a link to it. Um, I won't go through the whole thing. You can watch the video, but the the trade on it uh, that Darko pointed out was right in here. Uh, right in here, price went against you for a while, right, and then it rallied up. Now this was on a Friday. If you're nervous at all, you can certainly take this out for break even when when the market opened again the next uh, the next um, on Sunday. Uh, depends what time zone you live in, but uh, for the following week, stops underneath here, nothing to do, everything's fine. Uh, goes up, goes up. Here's a little area that you could consider taking some profit. Goes up to here, hits this level here. This is about a one-to-one -one reward risk. Again, th there's absolutely, absolutely no reason to lose money on this trade. You, if you lost money on this trade, then you're not following what we teach. That, but all I can say about that. And then it rallied up and then finally crashed like this. Nothing to do in here. This is all uh, FOMC related stuff and it's bounced back since then. Uh, there was trades on the Aussie Swiss, the British Pound Swiss, the British Pound Kiwi. I mean, it, it's been really active. But as I was saying, you know, like there's been a lot of trades getting filled coming into the end of the year. But it's critical, critical, critical that you manage them properly. Take profits. Uh, and or reduce risk when it's logical to do so. Um, and of course, you need to understand about spreading your risk appropriately when you have positions on pairs that have the same currency in them so that you don't overexpose your account on any one currency. So what a great end to the year that we've had and a big hats off to Darko for the very high quality work that he produces. You just won't find it anywhere else. Dark was actually going to continue to produce pre-market analysis videos throughout the month of December uh, as he isn't taking any time off. Uh, typical Darko, his, his level of passion is unsurpassed and we are very, very lucky to have him with us. You can always get more information on, on uh, our services at the link in the text below this video. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Uh, I hope you have a, a very Merry Christmas and holiday season and we wish you nothing but the very best to you and your families. Take care.